bait of the day, Lunker City Sluggo. It's only been around for you know, 30 some years. Can it be modified? Yes, it can. Stick around, I'll show you how to do it real quick. Are you ready to run and gun? It's time for blast off. Let's do it. Okay, so the Sluggo is a very awesome bait. And you can see it's pretty flexible the way it goes back and forth. But it can be softer. However, it can be too soft. You don't want that. Alright, you want this texture that Herb Reed first put in this system. You want this in here especially in the head. You want the head to hold its shape, you want it to hold the hook. But this is what matters. As you see, if I hold it over like this, it doesn't drop very far. But these little slits right here are where the hooks are supposed to go. However, the hook I use is about a four alt and hits right in front of this first slat. And this is what, this is what gives the bait its movement. If you put it back here, you notice there's not much. See that? But the more I move down, it starts working. Technically, right here in the middle is where they tell you to put the hook. I like mine in the front. This is the best jerk bait there is. I mean, there's Zoom Flukes, there's the new Freaky Fish they make, there's other kind of stuff like that. This, to me, was the absolute best because I don't like a jerk bait to go all over the place. I like it to be very subtle. Because it's just the way I fish. So I'm going to show you guys how to modify this real quick. As you can see, I've got boiling water. I've got my tray. I'm not quite finished yet. Remember, simplify your fishing. This is the new hook, brand new hook, that Lunker City has just come out with. I think this is awesome right here. And in a 4 alt, I like my eye exposed on a sluggo because I tie a loop knot. So my sluggo will move. If you tie it directly to that eye, it tends to want to go one direction all the time. So I use a loop knot. And you can see exactly where that thing hits. Right in front of those. You see that? So I'm going to boil this to where this has more action. Go watch. Pot of boiling water, you need metal. Ceramic would do fine. Your wife might cuss you out for it. But use this and use a pair of tongs. I like metal tongs because they're easier to clean when it comes to boiling this stuff. Because it, it will leave a chemical behind it. So basically, I'll just drop a little bit of boiling water. But I'm not going to let it sit more than 15 seconds. The reason is, it gets too soft. Now you can check it as you're doing it, kind of get an idea. I want to play with it a little bit. And kind of check it. Look at that. I want to leave it right there. Remember, this is a stock slugger. The only color I use is Alewife. That's all I ever use. If it needs to be brighter, I might dip a tail of chartreuse. That's about it. Simplify your vision. 
All right, this I can handle this. Okay, now see that? Look at that. See the difference? Now this might look like it's too soft. It's not. What's going to happen is when this cools off, and especially say within a week to maybe two weeks, this is going to stiffen up a little bit. Now, don't ask me why the time period makes a difference. I don't know. It's just it's, it's a it's a chemical thing. But that right there to me is that's borderline. I mean, that to me is almost too soft because I still want this logo to have some texture. See the difference? Massive difference. But as this cools off, it'll get a little bit stiffer. Well, let me set this in the, in the freezer for a minute or two. Let's stiffen up a little bit and we'll get back to what's going on with it. Okay, so this is out of the freezer now. And you notice it's not as bad as it was. But now this will stiffen up as time goes on. Since then, I went ahead and did all of my slugos that I have in the box. Not all that I have in stock, just all that I have in the box. I carry 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of them in my tray. That's good for a day's trip. I mean, good grief. If you're catching them like that, throw them for 24 hours a day. But the advantage of doing this right here when you got fall or early spring situations where the water's cooler and it tends to make things a little stiff, let's say 45, 50 degree water, but you but you have those warm days and the bass are coming up, having a little extra flexibility in a sluggo, especially like this, can pay off because it gives that bait that nice slide. If you've ever used salt plastic in really cold water, you'll understand what I'm talking about. That's why 90% of all the plastics I use, I boil them. But there are different ways and different time periods of doing them. Some of them I never touch. This is probably my box right here. Some that I never touch. The Zoom Trick Worm. It's fine out of package. Don't worry about it. Senkos. Don't touch them. They're fine. Especially Yellow Moto Grubs. They're fine. Don't worry about things. The only time I would even consider bowling a Zoom trick worm is if you get some of the packets that are so kinked that you can't do anything with them. So what I do is I put them in a bowl of water, just the tail portion of it, and then I'll lay them on a paper towel just like this right here. Now if you want them to cool off quicker, you'd actually use a baking sheet and then line it with paper towels probably blue and full at the bottom of it in paper towel so it doesn't, you don't get any chemicals on there. Yeah, it keeps the better half from getting mad at you. And then go ahead and cool them off that way. Uh, it doesn't take long for you to cool off. I mean, if you if you did these in an average household and say you put them on there an hour later, you come back to them and walk back or whatever, they're they're done. Um, if, you, if you need to put them back in bags, if you store these things, you put them in bags, all you need to do is squirt a little, little fish formula in there, uh, any kind of scent that you like. I use fish formula because I'm, I'm an old school guy. I use the term fish formula. But any kind of a scent, and just like one or two squirts is all it takes. Work it around the bag and then put your plastics in there and start working as you go and they'll sit. And believe it or not, once you soak them in this, you know, once you boil them, it will take that formula and just go suck it right in. So be, don't be surprised if a day or two you come back and they're bone dry in the bag. That's fine. Don't worry about that. That means that the stuff is in the plastic. So you're good. You're good right there. That's actually better once you get the factory. There's another one that I, 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 I might do down the road on Berkeley Power Worms that you can modify Berkeley Power Worm as well because if, if you're familiar with what I'm talking about, the 7 inch power worm, the standard for 30 some years standard power worm, it's pretty stiff. But if you boil it the way I boil it, because I've done experiments with this guy's live experiments, I know the exact amount of time how I boil a power worm where you don't lose the concentration of that yucky, smelly stuff. <laughs> and 
you still get the flexibility of that worm where I can hold it right in my knuckle and it falls right down to every fold of my knuckle. And you don't lose any of that scent. I learned my lesson on how to do that. So, hopefully down the road I can get another little bowling deal for you. Uh, but that's a little tip I wanted to pass off to you guys on how to modify sink, uh, sinkos, how to modify sluggos, because this is probably the best jerk bait that's ever hit the market, and it was definitely the first. And if it wasn't for this, you know, you guys can say, well, zoom trip, you know, zoom trip worm, not zoom trip worm, but a zoom super fluke. That's the best bait that's ever been. If it wasn't for this right here, it never would have been a zoom super fluke. Think about that for a minute. So this is the original. I'm kind of an originals kind of guy. If I'm doing a certain technique, I prefer the original because that's what started. And like I just showed you, there are ways of modifying it. See how see it, how it's not going as far as it was. See it's, it's even cooled off even more. It's not as bad as it was, but look at it right now. That's hard to get out of the package. Actually, you won't get that out of the package, but the head. Is still firm. Kidneys, man, kidneys. And I promise I will not hook myself on this one. So guys, may the Father bless you and keep you in Yeshua's name. Take care of yourselves out there. Have a great time fishing. Don't catch them all. Tight lines. And we will catch y'all next time. Boogity!